from winning the conference hosting the Brookfield East Spartans. Nate Colaf getting the Chargers started in the rain on third down, finding Lucas Ruiz for a 36 yard strike, and they take an early 7 0 lead. East unable to move the ball on offense, so it goes back to Hamilton, but this time the defense wins. Joey Austin hunting down Colath in the backfield. The Chargers turn it over on downs. Still 7 0 in the second. Colath on the draw, barreling straight into the line, bouncing off, and well, he's gone. They roll to a 36 6 win and the greater Metro Conference title. In the Southeast, Franklin needing a win at Kenosha Bradford for at least a share of that title. The Sabres getting their offense rolling early. Terrence Shelton putting them on the board with the score. So it looks good, right? Then early in the second, it's Shelton again. This time it's from three yards out, and it's now a 14 to nothing lead. Franklin wins 35 to 7 and shares the Southeast Championship with Oak Creek, who also won tonight. Time to take a look through Leach's lens. Award winning photojournalist Mickey Leach catching the Franklin tradition of the motivational bat where one of the leaders of the team has granted it for the season. Each week he spray paints it clean and then puts the game number opponent and a motivational sprays on it. It's then put on the bench to give inspiration throughout the entire game. This year's honoree, Connor Krisnarek. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, it's also here where we find our High School Blitz Band of the Week, the Kenosha Bradford Red Devils pep band, creating a festive mood each and every week. Well, there's been little separation at the top of the Classic 8 standings. Three teams start the night with a 5-1 and one conference record. Trust me, it really is the case. Three teams log jam at 5-1. and one. But Kettle Moraine has an edge over McQuanago and their opponent. Tonight, Muskego to earn the conference championship. And that's why it's this week's High School Blitz Game of the Week. Here's Lily Zhao with all the details. The battle for the Classic 8 conference title was waiting to be decided in Muskego. The Warriors took charge early. Sam Stoiber runs it in from four yards out as Muskego takes the 7-0 lead. The defense did their part as well. Chase Spellman tries to go deep. And Jack LaRose there to pick him off. And that puts the Warriors back in business in the second quarter. Muskego will capitalize. It's Stoiber again with a four-yard touchdown run. 14-0 Warriors. Now on the final play of the first half, Spellman, big time throw here, and Drew Wagner comes up with the 34-yard touchdown, and that makes it a 14-7 ball game at the half. The Lasers come out firing in the fourth quarter. Nolan Shop punching in for the one-yard score, but Kettle Moraine will not tie the game after a missed extra point. After a Muskego field goal, the Lasers get one final shot here. Spellman with the Hail Mary, and it's knocked down by the Warriors as Muskego wins 17-13. McGuanago also won, so both teams will split the Classic 8 Conference title for the second straight year. And the Warriors also make history tonight. They've won the conference five years in a row. It's a feat no other Classic 8 team has ever achieved. It feels great. Uh, I'm super happy for our community. This is five years in a row, and uh, to be part of this program, I'm so grateful. This community is awesome. We do this for the city. As the Warriors head into the playoffs with level one next week, head coach Ken Krause told me the mentality moving forward is five more weeks. Let's play five more weeks of football. Reporting from Muskego High School, Lily Zhao, Fox Sports. Thank you, Lily. In the Metro Classic Conference, Lake Country Lutheran needing a win to qualify for the playoffs, facing Shoreland Lutheran. Evan Roel getting the lightning off to a good start, going nine yards for the score. And that's a six to nothing advantage. After recovering the onside kick, Lake Country Lutheran needing only one play to get back in the end zone. Jackson Menzel hitting Maddox Kiley 47 yards. And a two-point conversion later, it's 14 to nothing. The Pacers do try to get back into this one. Joseph K on with a very nice 28-yard run, but it's all lightning as they strike a playoff berth with their 48 to 19 win. It was party at Shoreland Lutheran, which is where our high school blitz fan of the week is found. Say hello to senior Eli Lindemann as he's yucking it up with Tom's party section. This is with his fellow Pacers, and it's quite the student section indeed. Well, it's winner take all in the Midwest Classic Conference, and that turns everyone on their heads. 6 0 Kenosha St. Joseph hosting 6 0 Racine Lutheran. Now, St. Joe's up 21 0 late in the fourth. Eric Kinesi calling his own number, cutting back and seeing a hole. He goes 37 yards, and it's 28 0 after that score. No quit in Racine Lutheran, though. Eli Gossau going deep to Lauren Reinhouse. 
And check out this as he comes down with a touchdown catch. Well, that's all they get. Kenosha St. Joe's wins your Midwest Classic with a big 28 to 7 win tonight. We, we understand what's ahead of us, uh, but we have to do what's, what's in front of us right now. Um, we have to be where our feet are. That's what we always talk about. And embrace the moment. I'm very proud of our guys, how we finished. Uh, but we are where our feet are. That's the biggest mentality. That's the culture we have. And uh, we just love our guys, and, and they buy into the culture that we have. In the Parkland, Pewaukee looking to lock up second place, traveling to New Berlin Eisenhower. 6 nothing Lions midway through the fourth quarter when Owen Dauberstein throws the ball up. Look at Logan Schill high-pointed in the end zone for the game-time score as the Pirates miss the extra point. Then with 15 seconds to go in the game, these two decide to hook up again. And once again, it's Schill going up, but this time beating two defensive backs. He makes the grab, and that turns out to be the game winner. Pewaukee pulls it out 13-6. to well, for some, this was their final night on a football field, and we want to send out a very big congratulations to them. For others, one season ends with another beginning next week. And we will be back again next week for the Level 1 Playoff Edition of the Fox 6 High School Blitz. You can see tonight's edition, along with all the others from the season, on our website, fox6now.com. We want to thank you for joining us tonight.